so as you enter the King's Art Outpost, uh, up from a group of what seem to be relatively normal people, not King's Guard members at all. There's there's women, there's children, there, there are men as well. Uh, but this appears to be a group of common people. Uh, Corn stands up and he raises a hand and he, he begins to approach from across the hall. Accompanying him is Vandra, who you all recognize uh, from your couple of encounters with her. Uh, it does appear that she made it to Summer's Hearth. And through happenstance has kind of thrown her lot in with Corrin here and who, whomever else is currently in this King's Guard post. As he approaches Corrin, initially immediately greets Zixel and goes, Zixel, friend, it's, it's so good to see you. It and, gives him a hug. Yeah, just brings it in. Pat, pat. He, despite looking a little weathered and you have no idea what's going on what this bandage on his head is about he still looks as like cheerful as ever you know uh, Corin throughout like despite uh, being one a person who te- since, tends to be incredibly overworked and stays up all night at times and doing all manner of things somehow he manages to put on this happy face during the day or whenever greeting a friend or whenever having to speak to uh, someone in need he manages to have this this stoicism uh, and just outwardly like happy but it does appear that he is just he's very glad to see you and he says I got your message I hope it I hope it made it back to you as well I think so it sure did yeah I I can't help but notice that it's it's after sundown. I don't know how you you all made it into town. <laughs> well, that air elemental that was ravaging the gates, we managed to convince it to leave the town alone. You did. That is good to hear. Um, I have I have it to blame for. And he, he reaches up and he he touches his like the back of his head and like winces. I believe I have it to blame for my uh, current state of dress. Uh, I am incredibly surprised that you were able to get into town, though, that they've they've been exceptionally harsh, especially after dark. Uh, but I'm very glad to see all four of you, uh, the, the other three of you, McCall, Alphonse, Pilot, uh, not Pilot, Ronald, Ronald. <laughs> Philip, probably. Philip, whatever your name was. <laughs> I see that you got our message for uh, our friend Avandra here. Oh, Ava. Yeah, I have her to thank for not being dead, probably. She was actually the, the only other person who's made it in town other than you, you four. Uh, she got in... When was it? And she goes... Three nights ago, he goes. Yeah, three three nights ago. I said, the 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 back and forth. I was I was out for a little bit. I was trying to scout their positions. I was on top of the the Baker's Rest, and uh, I had managed to spot the Earth Elemental to the the northeast northeast to the north at least. <laughs> And I got hit in the back of the head by a flying rock. <laughs> I uh, I fell off the roof. Uh, but she had just just gotten into town, and I happened to fall almost directly in front of her. <laughs> uh, she pulled me in, and they they managed to nurse me back to health. Well, I'm glad you both are safe. Uh, it's not the first time I've fallen. Probably won't be the last either. <laughs> uh, Please don't die. <laughs> I can't promise, but I do try my best. Well, we happen to have some extra information that... I don't know if it would complicate things more around here, but... We continued our journey into the King's Wood, as you knew. Mm -hmm. Uh, Learned some more information about what we were talking. Like, he's kind of looking around. He doesn't want to just, like, say this stuff out loud. Perhaps there's somewhere private. Yeah, perhaps, yeah. Yeah, of, of course. Um... You all look incredibly tired as well. Could I also 
we have some soup. We, there's not a lot of food uh, coming into town. We're doing our best, and uh, mostly all of the travelers into town have either taken up with uh, families, or they're here, or they're at the Baker's Rest. It's There are more people in town than should be, and those who have managed to get out, so there, there are a few houses empty, but it's uh, we're trying not to acquire houses for other purposes. So uh, let's see. That's what you see here is the the overflow. Would you? Could I? Could I offer some? We we do have a pot of soup and a little bit of bread. So perhaps a meal, and you could tell me the rest oh, of your story. That, yeah. that would be great. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, so he takes you. He takes you to the back. Uh, he introduces you to Edgar, who is the. He's he's kind of the ranking official here right now of the King's Guard, so that that would put him at like a captain or something, some some NCO, non commissioned officer kind of level. Uh, he is a uh, actually he's he's fairly old. He's probably in his fifties. Uh, he's got like completely gray like gray gray hair, uh, uh, salt and pepper gray beard. He looks like he could looks like he has been in a few fights and has been a member of the King's Guard for probably like at least 20 years uh and potentially that that's what that's led him to be like kind of like the the person in in charge to like not go out and do stuff like he's he's here all the time um he introduces you you to him um they he takes you through uh to the kitchens uh where like the actual more of the mess is and uh there is a giant pot of soup it is uh it's lacking it's definitely it's soup uh there is very little protein there is uh like a little bit of chicken but it's it's mostly like there's there's rice celery and like a little bit of carrots uh so like it kind of tastes like chicken uh but that might just be the broth but he does he takes you also from there he takes you to uh what appears to be I, I quietly cast press press a digitation <laughs> on the on the pot just to brighten the next person's day who's nice. going back for a bad bowl it's of a soup. Little t- I mean it's it's not bad soup. It's just very lacking soup. Uh so like it's the person soup. cook the person cooking did it did their best <laughs> with what they had. And it's good soup. <laughs> good soup. Thank you. Yeah. I was waiting that whole time. Uh Oh no! It's it's it, that you gotta you get the good the, soup. Good soup. <laughs> it's TikTok, uh, Kegla. Yeah, you would. I, 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 I did a gift that I understand. Also, yes, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It is good soup, though. Um, okay. But he takes you. He uh, leads you. This Kingsguard post is much different than the one that you have been in in the Ray Crossroads. That was more. That was more like a like a like a weirdly converted like rich person's house. It felt like like there was a kitchen and a dining room, a large dining room, and what were like bedrooms have been kind of converted into offices and places like bunks and things. This is more like a like a long house uh, that has been uh, there. There appears to be there's a second floor, but it's it's more like there's the main hall, and then there's like the kitchen and like a small like mess area where you can you can serve. And this is probably more built for Kingsguard purposes than something that was converted. Um, so he manages to take you to, and what appears to be an office that has been somewhat converted more into like a war room. A desk has been moved out of a position of like where you would sit to like the dead center of the room where you can where you can walk all the way around the desk there there are chairs but they're all pushed up against the wall and on the desk in the across the desk is kind of a a hastily drawn map of summer's hearth it it appears to be accurate in terms of like where roads and things are but with like specific regards like exactly specific houses and stuff it's not the best uh there are some like prominent features kind of marked and and starred and you can see like positions of like some pieces and things on it as well. I will send that into maps. Hold on. Content. 
it I should say it appears to not be drawn by a cartographer would be the way of describing it maybe perhaps like a ranger uh, of the Kingsguard who is positioned here someone who would be more familiar with drawing like field maps not a not like a detailed street map or atlas or anything along those lines Summer's Hearth isn't exactly it's it appears that the shape of the town is more at mercy of the shape of the landscape. Summer's Hearth is more of an elliptical or uh, oval shaped, maybe even some might even say egg shaped. There are five main roads through the town that head towards the center of town, one straight south, one straight west, one straight north, and two that go east. One that, that meanders northeast, the one that meanders southeast. Uh, more east than north or south for both, though. Those main roads uh, meet up in the center of town, which is just a major circle. You've just walked through this. On this map as well are marked some places of where elementals were normally spotted. To the south, you can see they, they've placed a silver coin, which you would know would be, a, would be the air elemental. To the northwest, there's a bronze coin. And to the northeast there is like a shot glass with water <laughs> uh, so with a little bit of context clues you're all fairly intelligent you take to think that the water elemental generally stays to the northeast of town and the earth elemental which you are aware of is probably to the northwest uh, with the air elemental being to the south because you literally just saw it uh, some other like major areas of the town are kind of marked out. Uh, you can see on the southern portion of the square, or the center of town, I should say, it's not a square, almost directly across from you is uh, labeled the Baker's Rest. It's the inn. And there are a few uh, temples and uh, other things. It's mostly, it's things that would be useful in terms of like, managing large groups of people for things or like in like disaster relief situations like you you want to know where like churches are because that's where you can get a lot of people in the same place you want to know where like big hotels or inns are you want to know like where your base of operations is there are also one two three four wells marked on the map as well one five wells actually there's one in well. each each section of town a well which are potentially useful in dealing with a water elemental or I uh, according to Korn's messages, the the fear of a fire elemental. If you've got all but a fire, you're like, I I don't trust that there's not gonna be one. Corin there there are four chairs in the room. Uh, if you would like to take a seat, you could also stand in it too. Corin does start immediately pointing out these things on the map. He said, This is uh the general layout of what, what we've seen recently the, these the positions of the elementals which I've just described he says it, it seems they're the most active at night uh, during the day people have managed to get out of town and uh, but no one's no one's really being, been able to get back it seems they're, they're okay with letting people leave but not get in uh, which is honestly it's backwards from how elementals normally behave back backwards in that it's too logical uh normally elementals behave in a way such that nature does elementals are are kind of frivolous they they come and go earth elementals are usually they stay in one place and they're they're slow to act and they usually don't do anything unless bothered and water elementals tend to literally move downstream until they get to the ocean and they find another another way back but it's it's one it's odd to see three in consort like this and behaving strategically i would say well we we may have some reasoning behind that and I, I can't remember how, how much we informed you of our of our tasks, but we had recently just returned from the summer court of Queen Titania. Right. And 
she let us know that her daughter is missing. And in order to... F we, we, we were somewhat tasked with returning her daughter ere there be war between Mab and Titania. And what we were told is to seek her where the elements are acting unnatural. So that leads me to believe that she may be close and they may be protecting her. In fact, the air elemental, per our discussions between Philip and myself and her, uh, they were specifically referring to protecting someone help and looking for help specifically they're not they're not here on a malicious level that's for sure so if anything it looks like they're trying to keep out those who are looking to pursue and harm her well so my question is has there been and no you you would have you came up here when there were reports of the elementals my question would have been if you had noticed anyone who showed up to town prior to this activity but or if you knew anyone the, the, that may know such i mean it's it's a crossroads it's it's busy i i've only been here about two weeks but just just before i arrived there was a uh a group of performers who came in town they're actually staying at the baker's rest uh they're actually they're part of why the morale in town has stayed. Hold on, hold fine. that thought. Hold yes, on. this is. Mm -hmm. Did she did she hide among the yes, kids? Yes, that's what I'm thinking. That's hold what on. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, that... the shoe. What shoe? <laughs> no, that's nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a that, shoe. That, that makes so much sense. That what the... the fuck are they called? Um, Faust. N no. Edwin. Oh, your friends. No. No. Yeah, my company. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I didn't write that down. I thought I did. Uh huh. <laughs> Ilical knows this. Fight me. No. Where, where were they going? They were coming here. I know they were yep. here. I just I want to say that as Ilical, but I don't know their name. The name of the troop is Air Today. Right. I knew I hated it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Is D'Artagnan day? That I know. D'Artagnan air today. Would would that troop be air today? Yes, I do believe that's what they said. Uh, they're very good. Uh, there, I met with the troop master. His name is D'Artagnan. Yes, uh, D'Artagnan. But yes, I used yeah. to uh, travel with them as a bodyguard. Interesting. Uh, I. I think I've heard a story about you then. Uh, it's okay. It was funny. Um, they've got... They're, they're such an unusual group. Uh, one of their members is very not funny, but he tells a lot of jokes. Uh, I, you assume he's speaking of Sean, who usually does like the warm-up acts, uh, but he's more of a... He's a, like a much better juggler than he is like a comedian. Uh yeah, they're they're staying, they're they're actually staying at the Baker's Rest. Uh, they couldn't uh, stay in in the caravans, the the wagons. It's the weather has been, it's it's too too hard to deal with. Uh, so the owner of the Baker's Rest has offered them rooms for the time being. The owner of the Baker's Rest is Kurt, Kurt the innkeeper. That's uh the, one of the other places where uh, travelers are staying. Uh, to, to the extent this that was where all of the original travelers were staying, and then the overflow came here, and now one of the overflows is going to the uh, the temple of Vayun. But they they were here shortly before the elementals started attacking. From what I know, from what I've discussed. I would, uh, I would certainly like to meet up with them at some point. Catch up. Of course, I think I would sooner rather than later. I would recommend waiting until the morning, though. Uh, you came in just after dusk, and the the activity gets worse and worse throughout the night, until right at the break of dawn. 
do the do the elementals cause issues within the city or just on the outskirts? They I mean they hit me in the head. Uh it it appears if you're outside after dark, they are patrolling would be a word, but it doesn't make sense. They they circle the city mostly during the day and then at night well, they have almost free reign. If they are protecting, then surely they're on guard. But yeah, it appears at, at night they're the most active. Uh you will you'll most likely feel the tremors of the earth elemental. I wonder if they're, soon if not later. If they're more active at dark, perhaps they're actively combating something trying to enter, perhaps something that moves or she in the dark. reveals herself at night. Or perhaps they fear drow at night. Mm, yeah. Drow. Like those that attacked West Fork. Perhaps. And, and the, the king. And the king. That's right. Oh, you don't know. There was what? there was an attack on the king when we were in Storm's Fall last. Do you... There was a, a group of, a group of drow uh, that broke into uh, his study, I believe, is what it was. Uh, they cast darkness, and we broke off into into combat in the very castle. Make an insight check. Whoever wants to, I should say. I got a, a 15. Okay. Um, Zixel doesn't matter, because you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, 17. 21. Yep, yep, yep. What was Alphonse's? 12. Well, Alphonse, you... You only know that he was he says the king very quickly. Pilot Ilical and Zixel, you also would see this, but you know, so you would be looking you would almost look for it. Pilot Ilical, you both note that he tenses a lot, like more than just like someone would be worried about the king. And uh he seems legitimately worried and then after he says the king and Alphonse starts to talk you see him immediately kind of mask immediately he has this he has a very quick reaction to it but you do notice the stark changes between like this almost like childlike worry and excitement about it to immediately composed and back uh, to the extent that Alphonse you, it might just be that you went into telling the story and in thinking about what had happened and pulling that information from your mind, it his reaction so fast to return to neutral just escapes you. Mm -hmm. uh, but he does appear in a moment. He did appear a little too worried uh, comparatively uh, about the king. Uh, but as you tell the story, he also he maintains that composure. But you do see a little bit of uh, relaxation. The other the three of you. Uh, like you see a little bit of the tension that he had been holding kind of kind of drain as Alphonse finishes the story. He goes, that is very worrisome indeed. Thankfully, I... there were no injuries. The king did rather, <laughs> rather well. As you know, he's a powerful I, we, individual. We, 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 we see why he's heard. called the Storm King, that's for sure. Yes, there is a lot of mythos over the abilities of the, the Stormborn. Um, not surprised to hear it be true. This is he kind of like sits back and he leans on the table he crosses his arms this is so much to think about perhaps you should you should all get your, your rest tonight it has been no, no. I, have an, one, I, one... I have an idea you have an idea yes. okay. okay so he says that the elementals get active at night yep which makes me think that they're defending the city. And if we came from the south and the air elemental was asking for help as a gesture of good faith, what if we went to the south gate and guarded for the air elemental who had dispersed? 
Okay. Interesting. In case something comes in the air elemental, should it reappear? It's gone, yeah. If it is gone and like who knows if it flew off and now it's like observing from above and we told that we would help it and took take its post. I mean, we'll probably get into some combat if there if it is actually defending the city. Okay. Yeah, that is I I worry about the danger, but that could that that could be a gesture of good faith. Uh even if we defended from behind the fortified gate, if anything should come. If anything, we could always just drop the gate and stop it, right? We'll leave it well, closed we, or open it if we yeah, I'm actually surprised the gate wasn't closed when you came in. Usually, there's usually a, a guard or two in the guardhouse, but they don't... They're, they're not patrolling the walls. It's too dangerous. Uh, mm -hmm. Mostly, they, they stay in the guardhouse overnight. Uh, the gate is probably closed now that it is... He looks out the window and he goes, Holy fully dark uh, and you do notice that it is it is fully dark and it's like that it's like a storm at night dark like it's it's like midnight dark already even though it's like 9pm it's that it's that kind of dark and out the out the window you can see a few torches but between you can hear the wind going past the the window and uh, the occasional like spattering of rain it's just really not great weather to keep torches lit unless you really have like the means of having like good like pine tar like torches and like really really good like pitch and stuff so it's it's pretty dark out there what do you guys think do you think we should we should try that we might yeah. get into a fight yeah, I mean, yeah. we I think we like stay behind the gate, keep it closed, but yeah. Yeah. See if anything comes. If anything happens, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to turn my fan off real quick. Yeah. Uh, you, I, can, I can escort you to the gate and introduce you to the the post, the, the guardsman post there, and you can, you can spend the night there if you wish. Maybe we should be more actively looking looking inward to the city instead of outward. We've we've been so focused on the elementals themselves. Uh, perhaps I can. But you but you say that they. Oh, you know what? If they're acting more so, dang, like. If 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 the theory holds true that there are drow, in the city, and they're hiding somewhere. Then the elementals become active to keep them from leaving the city. Perhaps, mm. maybe it's like I don't know. Maybe like either coming in or leaving. It's it's one of the two things. But the elementals usually don't have, as Corin said, much of a trouble with letting people out mm. of the city. Well, my concern is what Corin just said. Like, why wasn't the gate already closed? Yeah. So like, what if... You guys, it was like. I mean, for like us on the East Coast, it was like just a little later than it is now. Like it's that kind of like time where it was like, it's not like dark, dark. Yeah. So it could have just been like, you guys hit the sweet spot. It like could dusk. be something nefarious. Yeah, it is. But it was not like, it's it's dusk in a storm. So it was pretty dark, but mm -hmm. not night in a storm, which it is now after traveling in the middle city having these conversations eating some food uh, but also also from his reports yeah the, the elementals are they move through the city at night like just all over um, through and outside you guys I mean you definitely saw like a, a tornado could be is definitely like air elemental force potentially and earth elemental like working together uh really causing some havoc um which that was outside the city yeah but it it could be it could be within it could be without you you and just we, like, we didn't get arrested since like that fight right yeah no this is it's been an hour so if we if we went to that gate and we and we did like a rotation so like we could still do a rest there 
as long as like you know mm-hmm. we do uh you know standing on guard um so everyone still gets arrested but you know it'll, it'll still be dangerous though mm. and as far as you all are aware the only elemental that would recognize you is the air elemental yeah yeah exactly I'd like to hmm. so like what Zixel would probably want to do is go where they last met it probably yell out very loudly in <laughs> Aaron we're back we're here to help tell us what to do and then just wait and see if it reacts at all I don't know about this plan I don't know yeah we can try it I feel like like it, it could give us an edge because right if... now I'm what if the earth or the water elementals attack us, though? Yeah, because that's the risk, right? People get attacked they're... in the city at night. Yeah. yeah. No, I think we're better off just waiting. This is entirely up to you guys. This is actually, like, <laughs> sort of the puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Is there, like, I don't know, like a guard post or something, like, at the gates? Like on the walls, there is a gatehouse. Like there, there are mm-hmm. gatehouses at each where you can control the the gate mechanisms. Um, yeah. So we won't be standing out in the open. We'll probably still be sitting yeah. in the gatehouse. gatehouse. Yeah. And there's they, they're also. Idea. I mean, they're where you can like stand, and like see over the wall and stuff. It's mm-hmm. not you as you approach the city. Summer's Hearth is not. It's it's not a stone walled city. It's it's literally like like entire trees planted as posts mm. um, but you take that not that's not a sign of it being a poor city that's just a sign of the wealth of lumber available in this region compared to like uh, West Fork where you're up against near near the mountains potentially there's more quarry activity for them to have stone walls would mean there would need to be a quarry somewhere nearby and potentially based on your knowledge of the northern reachers there's just not a lot of stone not, around here not me metagaming yeah but i think but, it's weird that there's five of us and five... oh wait no it's four of us never mind yep, there's four of you. Noah. never mind yep. four of us <laughs> and what and five what and five, and five gates i was gonna say oh yeah <laughs> five of us with corin yeah mark no. literally messaged me today about you being upset about me like trying to take the rock away from you by throwing a dragon at you and Mark said I bet you don't have any idea what the fuck he has in his inventory <laughs> I was like you're right I don't <laughs> surprise for it's a kinder egg mm-hmm. yeah um, but yeah I don't know it, it might make sense but like we could also get jumped by another elemental in the streets on the way there and like the chances of that one like siding with us or if it doesn't then we have to fight it in the streets and mm. then there's going to be like damage and stuff to the city like at least that one was outside the, uh, no I'm lo- like so I'm looking at the map of yep. Summer's Hearth where is this guard post we're in right now okay so you are on the north east side of the square northeast mm. side of yeah. the square okay. Okay, that building there, that bigger yep. building? The bigger building, yes. At the start, okay. And okay. then across the, it's not the square, across the center of town is the Baker's Rest. Yeah. In the northwest of town, in the more organized looking district, um, in that area, somewhere in there is the Temple of Ayun, and a few other things, but... And guys, like, don't forget, think... like, both, both Pilot and Zixel speak elemental which means yeah all elementals right so we can yeah so i mean like if anything happens we could i mean if they are particularly angry tonight i mean obviously there, there is a risk and if we try to retreat into a house or something like, i don't know i don't know like who knows we, can, we might step outside and, and it's the earth elemental oh so, sorry the the air elemental we see and like we immediately mm. like yo listen listen we're here to help tell us what to do and but they're like, you you also like got not... the in communicating with it they're not they're not going to tell us what to do yeah it'll like if this says like it'll probably just say something like defend 
It might not even okay. remember us. I feel like they're probably like more of like a force than like a intelligent like a consciousness or a, an intelligence. You would you would know at least with air elementals and kind of interact. Actually, you know what? Make nature checks. <laughs> there we go. How about you roll dice? That helps. <laughs> Take a 16. Okay. And that one. Oh. <laughs> you speak with them, but you have no idea. Hello. Can you hear me? I don't like this. I wish to I wish to use one of my sword three points to re-roll. <laughs> but just wait, wait, have what one of else rolls. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I yeah, got much worse. 17. So 17 and up would know it. You would know. Air elementals are the smartest of the three that you are aware of, and they are all dumber than Illicol. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I love being that. So, um, yeah. I think they're the like just centuries. You, you yeah. would know, what was the high? We had 17 would get less intelligent than normal human. Less intelligent than a, kind of a dumb human. Anything higher than the 17 would get you intelligence of six is the high you're dealing with. Uh, Pilot would know of the three, water and earth elementals have intelligence of five. So like they're, they are beings kind of, of like nature. Hostile. It'll look at us and it'll just be like, hostile. that is, yeah, that is like, well, so I wouldn't in say the, hostile, in the, but in they the would communication, not like, like what you got mode. was major communication was help protect yeah. though they they deal in ideas and do you happen to remember what you rolled for that because i feel like you had to roll pretty high they, they to rolled get that, and that was the smarter yeah one. We, very well we rolled pretty good for that like i think uh, like a 19 or something for that okay um the the other thing that i'm thinking is what if like they're more active at night because um mav Mob. A, a, Mob. You know, oh, yeah, the, Mob. the daughter. Yeah, yeah. Mob. Yeah. Um, what if she comes out at night? Yeah, so that's thinking, what I was like, thinking. If, if she's if she's with the kid or something, because only one of the kids came, Faust. Yeah. yeah. So if she's with that group. What if we went over there at night? M Mob is uh, Mab's daughter, not Titania's. Yes. Yeah. Oh wait. Well, no. We we don't know Titania's. A Winter Queen's name. daughter is Mob. Yeah. How do we not know freaking because oh, you're we, right, we didn't you're right. we didn't ask Tanya yeah. and yeah, Othlo yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, I was thinking they're probably anyway. worried that Mab's people are gonna attack at night. That's yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. And if we ever so we got three elementals and we got one in our back pocket. Well not necessarily. No, but, we don't. But enough enough <laughs> for wanna... enough for it to know that we were Baby. willing to not fight it, right? So I mean that was one time though. I, I think it's more of like um they're a century and like we proved in that moment that we weren't hostile, but I feel like it's got only like like five megabytes of RAM. But it you know, it did, and it just like it forgets every fifteen minutes. Two no for a second and we're talking about RAM. No, I'm just saying like they don't have a lot of like capacity to remember things, is what I'm kind but of But that picturing. doesn't mean that we can't continuously reason with them. You could continuously reason with a two year old. Yeah. Yeah. Like they yeah, will. But what if what if you get the wrong role, right? Well, we but did. What if you we get the, the right role. role? We got the wrong but... role twice until we got it, and it was like a but, slow chipping yeah, away. Then, of... then we'll have to fight it in the town. It's it's possible. You don't have to fight it. There are yeah. ways to disengage from a battle. Yeah, which is it's, a, but which it's, is but it's going to we attack. We can't make yeah. it not attack. So like, if we yeah. hide inside, it's probably not gonna like if unless there's drow in the city. Yes, that's it's not going to cause I, any damage. Like that, that's that's exact. Like my whole thing is there must be drow, because this would be the time that they would be misbehaving, and if like there's any like if if they have anything to do with this, I mean it would only make sense that they would try to do what they're trying to do at nighttime, which is probably why the elementals get so active at night, because during the daytime it's just kind of. They still exist, so they gotta just they'll hang out outside the city, but they know they don't really need to do any trouble inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, another thing is most of the people are gathered around very specific places, uh, like the temple and the baker's yeah, rest. I like where you're going with this. I'm not saying that we have to fight or anything, but the chance but the thing is, if things do get damaged, we're not harming people, we're harming buildings. buildings. Mm -hmm. 
because Plus, I thought you were gonna say if like say for example we're all watching the south gate but they come in from the north gate well we yeah, we're thinking right. about watching the south gate because we told the air elemental we would help and it yeah. left yeah. and we don't yeah. know if it's coming back tonight that's why because yeah south because gate. yeah that's been the general like we, okay. we hear earth is northeast or northwest water is north east and the air is in the south the air specifically said help so if we show it that yes we will help we know where you're hanging out i mean of course it'll come back to does it remember talking to us mm -hmm. or not i'd like to think it does because the fact that they've been here for like a while now like weeks mm -hmm. means that they I have they're, they're able to process that they're they're here on a mission Sure, but it could be like that's their objective, and then everything else is kind of like white noise. It but could they be. could, I don't know. but there is a chance of reasoning with them. Just because their intelligence is low doesn't make them necessarily stupid. Stupid. Mm -hmm. They just yeah. rely more on baser instincts, and we just yeah, need they're to... like base. Like they yeah. they have a specific thing they have to do, and as long as we don't go beyond that, and we help them at that basic level, yeah, then there like should be we... no reason for it to distrust us. Yeah. Like so not I'd to think... like rail on Ilkal, but Ilkal <laughs> has like the lower stats for our intelligence. And I have eight intelligence. Yeah, and, that's and not much Ilkal is a great person to work with. We could say the same about the elementals. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and it helps with what Noah said that knowing that we got the smartest of the elementals to trust us at this point is probably a a point on our side mm -hmm. at the very least so like so i would well, i feel like that's just like acing the easier test you know <laughs> but yeah, yeah i know what you're saying we, we we can go and like we can still rest in that gatehouse yeah but what i'm saying is like if they come in from another gate it's kind of well so yeah so like the, the, so here's the thing right so we have two options at this point we go to the inn where we expect the daughter to be and who knows or we go with where we told the air elemental will help it if like who knows if, i think it was say, more of a general help though it just yeah like, it could be it could be but like not if, like a common yeah I'm, I'm i'm popping out for a pack of smoke yeah just cover yeah. me for a minute but how else i don't are think we, that was what yeah. it was saying. how else are we going to show it that we're helping yeah what, if, what yeah. if the sun suggest? so so as far as we're yeah. aware the sun just set so now's the time where they would start to get active. If we return to where it's been guarding, which is the guard post, and we announce our presence to the air elemental, and then wait and see what happens. And then should it reappear back at the gate? Like let's say if it like if it if it uh turns back into like a, a form that we can communicate with and have another basic conversation with it and see what it intends to do. And then which Again, I'm I'm still very salty on the outcome of the first uh, the first encounter. Which one would the the daughter favor out of the three of us from the first encounter? Not me. Um, Saf, if anyone. Pixel wasn't there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely yeah. not me. Would probably dislike me. So probably pilot then. Pilot yeah. or Pixel, yeah. Okay, so in no and no matter what scenario, you guys are the ones that are going to be doing the talking. Yeah, not not me. I'm worse than you. Maybe just yeah. the character with the highest charisma. Yeah, that too. Yeah, so this guy, that. This the guy. sorcerer. <laughs> what is your charisma? It's an Plus eighteen. Five. Oh. Okay. Um, what what was your decision, Saf, with the in melt? <laughs> I was like. Kids, here's the wishbone. Oh yeah, you were like contracts. <laughs> do you do you have a contract? I do believe is <laughs> to which last like two sessions ago. Okay, wait. So they do have a contract. <laughs> when... Yeah. So I was kind of on the right track. <laughs> so what what would do we want to we want to talk to? Vandra? We haven't really said anything to her yet. She's in the room. Is she mad at us? Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay. It's, it's been a few days. Out. She's probably got over it. Yeah. Plus, probably. we implied that like we, we 
that we told Cora to expect her to come or something, right? Mm -hmm. But was she truthful to Cora about what her mission was? Probably not. We'll see. Certainly we'll not. See. We'll see. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I don't think Corrin would be that chill with her if she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to start shit, then I decide against it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you guys. Fun fact, it's a sandbox. You can... I... One of you can go. Zixel can go alone if he wants. Terrible. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, have I to know be that, way. That, that is true. No, don't splitting up the party is a historically bad idea. Yes, that that is also That's true. true. No, no, no. One of us should go to each gate and die alone. <laughs> yep. I <laughs> or, That's one option. I or, vote we go. Okay. Or, okay. Or what if if like if we wish to go the split up route? No. Mm -hmm. which we shouldn't do, but no. let's say Pilot and Zixel could go to the gate, the ones that no. are capable of communicating, whereas... No, that's that's where you're wrong. <laughs> what Each group should have one person capable we're if we were splitting this, this, We're talking we hypotheticals. I, yes. I, I, I vote All right, uh, it'll call, come with me. <laughs> I say we stay in the gatehouse overnight, because at very least we're indoors so we should be safe but if the aeromental shows up we can try to talk to it or we can see if anyone tries to come in the city yeah we can get our rest and stay inside at the gatehouse yeah where was the hold on where was the uh the the uh tornado the south north it was like west. far northwest of the city it actually and it so lifted up just this. before hitting the city it didn't actually hit the city was... wall at all. It just took out a bunch of forests that you could tell. And that was the air elemental? It's, Do you, we know you that? Would, you don't know that it was the actively the air elemental? I mean, tornadoes are, like, natural. Like, that. it could have just been a tornado. Um, that wasn't the air elemental itself, because we talked to the air elemental, and it was there. After. It could have been caused by it. Yeah, but the, the tornado disappeared. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking, like, what if there was, like, drow at, like, that northwest gate? And it was like clearing them out, and then it's like, oh shit, more people over there, and then it came down to like mess us up. But what if help was like, and then it it like went into another. It went west. What if they were over there? I don't know. That was a great time. Mm -hmm. I feel like at this point, if we keep it simple, as if, if these elementals are as simple as they are, just the gatehouse is probably the one that makes the most sense. Mm. And at least, like, because if we walk to any of the other directions, we're walking to elementals that do not know our status, but we at least are walking towards one that should. Yeah. It, it literally just talked to us, like, in canon, like, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, yeah. like, it hasn't been that long since it last saw us, right? It wouldn't have forgotten. I think we should go to the South Gate House. What, yeah. What are yeah. you thinking? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to go talk to the the troop. I we should probably I, do that tomorrow. I'd like yeah. to, yeah. But like at this point, we gotta we gotta convince the elementals that we are here to help them. The troop isn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Would Corin or Edgar, Edgar or Evandra have any any input? What they might think about this? So they've been here for um, days now. Evandra says, if I may. My big suggestion would just be to stay off the roof. That's what happened to Corin. It's <laughs> as I was walking into town, heading to the inn, and I see someone fall off a roof. Now, why would any of us be on a roof? <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like nudge Pilot. <laughs> oh, I nudge him back hard. <laughs> he goes flying across the room. <laughs> just elbows, just flying Body elbows chicken. around. No, I just go. <laughs> I don't I've, know. I've mostly been been staying here and taking care of those who are injured or need help somehow. They, a few, a few have been injured. Otherwise, there's there are a couple who who got thrown by the earth elemental as well. But that was at least you know on the ground. Is there any risk in walking the streets at night? Yes. Um that's there's the guard has actually in, instituted a curfew for everyone here they they went around a few days ago and 
told everyone to stay inside at night. You're not going to let us out anyway. Uh, you, you, Corn goes, <laughs> you all are free to do whatever you want. This <laughs> is for, <laughs> no, for the average person who couldn't speak to an elemental. Okay, let's go. If you would like to treat this time as a short rest as well, you may, if you would like to. If any of you are missing HP, you want to roll a hit die or two? I will allow that. I... Oh, oh, yeah, because we've been here for a bit of time. What a, what, a, what XP are we at? Because I don't think my thing saved last time. Uh, we through six and seven. We're at 18,350. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Because <clears throat> uh, my, uh, my spell slots are all refilled. Did you use any spells against the arrow metal? I mean, we were fighting the hag, right? No, we that was not. No, you yep. rested overnight between them. Yeah. Oh, we did. Yep. We did. Oh, okay. Never mind. Because because we we went, we fought the hags, we passed through the town. Right. Then we rested, okay. and then we made our way to. No, so I'm I'm good then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah me too. I'm missing two whole hit points. Nice. <laughs> A lot for Alphonse. <laughs> for Alphonse, it would be these days. Okay. Oh, I have Maybe. 18 temporary hit points. That yeah. was from your rage ability. I don't. Will will that does that continue after your rage ends? Um, let me see. I will before we set foot. Probably cast magic armor on myself just to have it prepped. Cool. Mage armor. Sorry, magic, you said armor. magic, yes. magic armor. armor. It's, it's, it's not armor. wrong. <laughs> it is armor made of magic. Look, I play a sorcerer too. I get made fun of it. Hey, the I cast fireball when you mean firebolt is a big one. That's the, yeah, yeah. Ooh, lightning <laughs> well, outside Morton's Whoa. house. Before you had fireball, you big would one. say fireball. Yeah. If I sleep in mage armor. Like, does the mage armor? It just it says eight hours, but if I sleep, does it like go away? Is it concentration? It I would assume no. I don't think so. It is not concentration, no. Then it should stay technically if you sleep. Yeah. Technically. I, I mean... honestly never thought about it. <laughs> oh, I yeah, no, you way. can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you can. Be being unconscious does not affect mage armor. So yes, it will last for eight hours whether you are conscious or not. I'll cast it too then. Okay. We got two people with mage armor for the next eight hours till about. So what specifically is the plan? We're gonna walk down the main yes. street all the way to the gatehouse, the southern gatehouse. I think okay. we're the plan is we're gonna stay in the gatehouse and one person will like watch yeah. out through the viewpoint over the walls. We'll take our shifts. Yeah. Okay. So as you all are making your preparations to leave the King's Guard post after assume you, you inform Corin, whatever, blah blah blah. As you are making your preparations, you feel a Okay. Okay. Under there, it's like um. Have you ever been in a house like near train tracks as a train went by? Yeah. It's like it's kind of like that. It's it's passing. It's like it is. It's as you as you feel it. It gets it gets a little heavier and then it fades fairly quickly.